here at Panchachuli, the temperature is around 6-7 degrees. There is a lot of wind, so it is making it more cooler. As I said, this is an Agni Stotra. So when you do the Agni Mantra cream or the Prabhu Shri Ram Mantra, huh? you can see my body, which is temperature side. You will be seeing it and there will be temperature outside how much it is. I'm going to record it now. I'm going to breathing and you'll see how exactly my body goes from orange. I'm also going to change the palettes. The Beach Mantra of Agni is Ra. It denotes the intense transformation associated with Agni. Transformation of food, thoughts, environment, everything. It becomes aware as upward movement through Udhanavayu and hence the breath patterns to access it are concentrated to the throat and then a bit nasal tone comes in. It exudates heat and power to transform elements which enables one to survive without physical dependences of food and thoughts. It hence forms an integral prana unit access to Aghor Sampradaya as it transmutes all physical and mental toxins to its elemental form as Bhasma or Ash. Ram Bish Mantra differs a bit from the Prabhu Shri Ram Bish Mantra Ra. Ra Bij is accessed more in retention exhale and more towards the upper palate and nose. This sound frequency gives access more on the sensory pathways, creating a dynamic adaptation towards the surrounding. You can check my video on the Prabhu Shri Ram Bij Mantra here. Though both mantra may seem to have phenetic similarity and may seem ending having a nasal tone, the difference lies in the access of prana unit retention, which influence different neurohormonal pathways. The Agni Mantra being more elemental in nature, while the Prabhu Shri Ram Mantra being more towards the decoupled sensory access and environmental adaptation. The combination of these two beach is represented in the beach of Lord Hanuman from where both Ram and Ra can be accessed depending on the voluntary fluctuation of prana access in breath practice. Since the seed mantra of Agni is a bit difficult to demonstrate in its purity, I have accessed it here in this demonstration through the beach mantra of Ma Kali Krim, though at certain points I have used it in its purity while breathing. I have also accessed the combined version of Agni and Prabhu Shri Ram Beach frequency to from in certain places to capture the difference in heat. However, since these access require complete inner focus and awareness of camera, which constantly activates the flight fight mechanism is limited in capturing these nuances unless this kind of demonstration is recorded in a controlled, non-stimulating environment. Hence, this demonstration must only be accepted as a reference towards understanding the neurochemical effect of seed mantra as sound frequency influenced by prana unit access as retention and flow through varied breath patterns. Here, we are projecting the cream and the Ram mantra. When I'm doing the abdominal breathing, I'm doing the cream mantra. When I'm doing the alternate, I'm doing the Ram mantra, which is for Prabhu Shri Ram and Hanuman with From mantra. I'm alternating it when I'm doing the mudras. This slowly concentrates heat onto your heart. 
and spreads the heat through your murmurs. Now this is just a demonstration and I'm also aware of the camera so it is just like 4-5 minutes demonstration but you can see the difference in color differences. I've used the Arctic palette because Arctic palette gives you color differences but a lot of time you cannot know it what is happening. So I tried with the hottest palette because hottest palette generally will give you the hottest regions not the cold regions and if any of the red patches are happening around here which you can see here then that region is getting heated. So if I keep on doing this awareness over a period of time just for survival in these mountains I'm gaining heat from the sunlight. I'm gaining moisture from the river which is flowing here and can be in this meditation without food for hours and only when my heartbeat drops I start feeling a little bit stressed out or my legs start paining I'll walk around my heartbeat will reset and then I'll require some food so this is how generally in the highland yogis people used to connect with their internal mar marmic connections and slowly but surely developed a a kind of symbiosis with nature here there is no sensory stimulus no humans no kind of objectiveness to food and all only internal agni just trying to give you a sample with thermal camera because my battery is not that much so i wanted to also give you the heart rate but i'm definitely sure the heart rate when it becomes more goes up to almost 120 150 one minute ago it was 126 B bpm and i'll lower it down it'll almost go down to 50 60. So I'll just try and see if it goes down to 50-60 with the thermal camera. It's almost up to 90 here and probably you'll see that there will be a red flush around all my body now so it's totally warm and I'm taking everything from the sun. Of course the moment I bring my awareness to the watch suddenly the heartbeat will rise. So these are standard equipments, thermal camera it is a lepton 3.5 grade thermals, perfectly accurate. This heart watch is also accurate but just because it is awareness and your body switches from active to uh, passive uh, thing when you bring your awareness to something the heartbeat changes so i require active cardiac meter but this is what i can present to you right now so these are powerful beach mantra sounds which are not heard which are seen and when you visualize it with open eyes and you breathe and break them apart this kind of changes happen into your body so do if you have any kind of sadhana do come to these places these are energy vortices as i said this is the fire kitchen of draupadi who was a yoni she was not born out of womb she was born out of fire so these places give you this neural connection, these electromagnetic fields, which when you align your spine properly, it just gives you that access to internal energy, provided you are not affected by the stimulus and provided you are deep into your sadhana. But do not do it to prove any points. These are just demonstration for the youth to know the little bit of science behind the human body and probably tomorrow while putting in this kind of thermal images in some kind of a machine learning program, artificial intelligence, we can unlock more secrets of the body, more secrets behind how the yogis unlock them because I did it before the scientific evidences were there. This is just a humble presentation to get deep insights into this yogic career. Yeah.